Hello and welcome to Pen's Pals. My name is Miss John. And I'm Miss Camila. And today we have a very special guest with us. She's returning. Um, this is Janet Lawler. Can we say hello to Janet? Hello, Janet. Hello, Janet. Hi, everybody. Janet. Well, welcome back, Janet. If you remember Boys and Girls at Home, <coughs> Janet was the, also the author of Tyrannoclaws that we shared with you on Pen's Pals in December. So we are very excited to welcome you back with your brand new book, Snowzilla. Have any of you read this or have seen this book before? You guys are very lucky. We get to see it for the first time. Now, Miss Camilla, I think we're missing someone. You're right. Who's we missing? Pen. Pen. <gasps> Pen. Are we ready to call him and see if we can find him? Yeah. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Oh, oh Pen. Pen! Who can find Pen? Who knows who Pen is? Michael and Dakota have been here before. He's Pen. What, what is Pen wearing? Scarf. scarf. He's wearing clothes. I, I hear Michael, he's saying he's wearing a scarf and, he has and mittens. And Dakota said he's wearing mittens or earmuffs. Why do you think he's wearing all that stuff? Because, because it's, it's cool. winter. Because it's winter. Yeah. Why do we have to wear? He's a snowman? I think we need to take his scarf off so we can see what he really is. Are snowmen blue? Penguin? He's a penguin. Did you know that penguins really are blue? There are some They're penguins black. and there They're are black. some black ones. Black. But Pennington, our pal, he's a blue penguin. And he has a pal in there. He does have a pal hiding in there. You are right. He's shy. He is shy. Pennington is shy. And you know what his favorite thing to do is? He loves to read. How many of you like to read? Oh, very good. I don't really know words, but I can make a million <coughs> different words. And how do you do that? Do you tell stories by looking at what, Dakota? Some pictures. Um, One second. The pictures. You look at pictures. That's right. What were you going to say, William? Some books don't have words. Some don't, right? Some right. wonderful and I, books And I read words. chapter books, which don't have pictures. Right. You're right. Chapter books is what you graduate to as you get older. Michael. Some book only has words. You are right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're called chapter books or story books. Yeah, the chapter well, books I read are like this thick. Wow. wow. You must be an excellent reader. Well, well, grown ups can read wor like just words with no pictures. That's right. And that's why we go to school to learn how to read, right? Mm -hmm. We learn our alphabet. I don't learn anything. I read without pictures. Yep. I know you read real outside. It's very good. Well, I know what happens. Pennington is, is dressed for winter, right, Miss Camilla? Yes, he's dressed for winter. And in wintertime, we, what usually happens in the winter? What kind of weather do we get in the winter? Snow! No. No. What else do we get? I, you're, you're shivering. Are you, Why are you it, shivering, William? It's cold. It's right. cold. Has it been really cold this week? Yes. Yes, yes, yes it yes, has. And yes. And also, what that brings us to our story. It does. What things? What kind of activities do you do in the snow? <coughs> do Play you, in the snow. Do you go swimming? No. no. Yes, I do. In the I snow. Go ice skating. Ice skating, ice skating on frozen water, okay. right? And I play hockey. You play you hockey. Play in the snow and jump in it. You can. <laughs> Very good. What else do you do? Do you make mud pies? What do you do? No. What do you miss? Yes, I make mean, snow forts. Snow forts. How many of you have made snow forts? Boys and girls, how many of you have made snow forts? Those are fun. And you can dig a hole, and what do you do? You, then we have to clean it out. out. You have to clean it out, and you have to crawl in it. What else do we He's make out brother. of? I'm so glad. <laughs> and what else do you make out of snow when you yeah, pack you it into a, like a snowball? It's a snowball. And, and when you roll it on the ground, it's a snowman. Snowman. Very good. Well, Miss Janet snowman. has yes, written Yes, what a this snowman. book is about. You have two. Snowzilla. Snowzilla. Can you guess what the book is about by looking a at the picture? A giant snowman? A giant snowman. You're right. Nice. I've read a, a story about a giant snowman. You have? Me well, too. this one... This you one's did. probably a little different. No. And would you like to know how I got the idea for this story before I read it? I'll um, just tell you one man. quick thing. I was looking on the internet and read a story 
about a giant, humongous, enormous snowman in Anchorage, Alaska. Do you know where Alaska is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is, is it we cold in Alaska? Right. Where's Alaska? It's way up north, right? Mm -hmm. And it's um, cold. My, my grandpa it's does very that and cold. I have an Alaska um, Canada with separates my, with my um, Alaska. With my U.S. and Alaska, but it's still, there's still it's still you are still absolutely right. right. Thank right. you for that information. Right. So I read and about a snowman. It has my name on it. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. So Snowzilla was actually built by a man in Anchorage, Alaska in 2007. And he had seven children who helped him build a giant snowman. His snowman was 25 feet tall. <gasps> Raise your hand if you have your bedroom on the second floor of your house. If you do, or if you have a second floor in your house, if you go up to the second story and look out the window, you'd probably be looking up at Snowzilla's eyes. That's how big a snowman he was. So what happened is the town said he was too big and he was too dangerous and they didn't want him to be built. So the next year when the Could gentleman... You just read it? Sure, I'll finish this one sentence and then I'll read it. The gentleman tried to build it and they said they couldn't. So he actually didn't finish it that year. And that was the idea for my story because I wanted Stozilla to be finished. So Can in my story, story time song? you'll see what happens, okay? What happens when Snowzilla, when somebody says he can't be, he can't be built. It snowed without stopping for week after week. When it ended at last, Cammie Lou took a peek. She bundled and booted and zipped up her brother. Let's build a huge snowman, unlike any other. They packed a large snowball and pushed it around. Then mom plowed the yard, dumping snow in a mound. They rolled out a middle as plump as a pig. Place a head on the top with the help of dad's rig. They scavenged for buttons, a hat and big eyes, for a nose and for arms, a nose and a mouth and for arms the right size. Then Cammie Lou cheered as she stood down below. We'll call you Snowzilla, our giant of snow. Bless you. Thousands of people rode buses to see Snowzilla, the snowman, as tall as a tree. But neighbors complained and a few acted wild. They organized quickly and lawsuits were filed. Poochie is scared to go out the front door. Another said views were much better before. A lady warned everyone, make no mistake, when temperatures rise, he'll turn into a lake. A judge ruled Snowzilla will have to come down. He's too big a threat to the peace in our town. So Cammie used email and texting and blogging to save all their efforts spent packing and slogging. She contacted cousins and friends that she knew. Snowzilla's in danger. Help! What can we do? At dawn the next day, a man backed up his truck and measured Snowzilla. I think we're in luck. People brought lumber and scaffolding too. Hot chocolate and muffins as snacks for the crew. Then Cammie, her brother, and other kind folks all labored together and told <coughs> snowman jokes. They hoisted <coughs> Snowzilla up just a few inches by using a forklift and pulleys and winches. Parading down Main Street, they stopped near the square. Cammy Lou pointed, please set him down there. The community garden was wide open space. He belonged to them all in this perfect new place. <coughs> Snowzilla was patted by dozens of hands while everyone <coughs> sang to the town's marching bands. Weeks later, the sun became hotter and bright. Snowzilla grew smaller and flowed out of sight. Cammy Lou waved. Can you wave? Hardly shedding a tear. Because she had much bigger plans for next year.
What do you think her plan might be? Another big snowman. Yes, that's a good guess. And what else, William? Kids. Yes, a whole Snowzilla family. <laughs> So in my story, Snowzilla gets moved. Cammy figures out a way to save the giant snowman and moves him to the community garden. You were wonderful listeners to my book. Thank you so much. Now, if you had to move a snowman that was 25 feet high, how would you move it? By a, a, like a truck that has a flat back to carry it. <laughs> Oh yeah? That's right. How would you get it onto the flatbed? Um, I would, if I wanted, I'll I would back think up. ahead and put it, build it on a sled. Oh, you would need oh, excellent oh, idea. Oh, good idea. Yeah. That's a crane planning ahead. Blow her on you. you could use a crane. And what would the crane need to hold that snowman together? What do you think? Um, Thank you for raising your hand. A, a wooden structure. A wooden structure, like a frame? What Did else? Snowzilla have a wooden a structure? Uh-huh. They did sure build one did. for him, didn't they? Here he is. Very Here good. Here he is. They probably might need an engineer to figure out how big it is. Somebody who's trained to build something they that big. They lift him up. Just they lift did. him up. They had to do it while it was still cold, right? Because snowmen no, tend to melt. Can I, I ask a question? Get it out of the trunk. I don't know how they would get it out of the trunk. Open the trunk and back up. Well, I think it would be bigger than the trunk, don't you? Yeah, but it would have a giant trunk. Oh, a giant trunk. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would like to ask you a question. I've never asked this question of an audience before. But can I ask you, did it make you sad that Snowzilla melted away? Yeah. No. Good. Because that was a big problem when I was trying to decide how to end my story, whether or not he should melt away. And I decided that all kids know that snowmen melt. So I, but I didn't want it to be sad. And I said, well, how can I continue this forward to the next year? And one of my endings had, because he's in the community garden, he melts, so he helps the water from Snowzilla, helps all the plants to grow the next year. But then I decided a Snowzilla family was more fun. So I'm glad it didn't make you sad, because it wasn't supposed to. Well, thank you for sharing that story. Did you want to share any more about how an author writes a story, or what goes into making uh, yes, a picture I book? I would. I had many different versions with a lot of words for this story. And once I finally pick the words and send it to a publisher, then the publisher actually picks the person to draw the pictures, which is called the illustrator. So I don't get to do the art, and I don't get to pick who does the art for my books. How but many of you are artists? Or how yeah. many of you have a parent who's an artist and likes to draw and paint? Yeah. Well, I like to draw and paint. You Everybody yeah, likes to draw pictures, you're an artist. Right? I would call like you an artist. I do what he's real good at. I'm going to make it. Well, I'm going to be a picture. picture. Well, mommies are important, too. Do you that ever write stories and draw pictures to go with them? Um, do you ever do that sometimes? sometimes? Well, here, I just thought I would show you a couple of things in the step between when an idea comes to my mind and when the book is published. And these are, these are, sketch, these are sketches that the illustrator does. And then the publisher, like the publisher sometimes tells me to change words or wants me to change words in my book. And sometimes they ask the illustrator to change things. And in this, this is one of the first sketches. And you can see there's little, little musical notes in the air. And what do you think that would mean? If there's notes in the air, William, what well, do you think's happening in that picture? The wind is whistling. It could, that's excellent. an excellent idea. What else could be that happening in excellent. that picture if there's notes, musical notes in the air? I know. What to a piano could be playing. A Someone piano? could be playing a piano? What else? Yes. It's, maybe it's the snow, the big snowman's whistling because it's so sad it melted. Oh, it could be whistling <coughs> away. How about the children could be happy and they could be singing, singing. a song? That could so, be too. Yeah. But in any <coughs> event, the publisher wrote, don't need music notes. Oh. <laughs> So when you look at the first page in the there book, the there's notes. no more music notes. See, let's look at that. And then the other thing 
see, see them. It's no music notes. But it kind of works in there because you see you, you see the wind. You see the wind swirling. Can you normally see wind outside? Can you no, see wind? No. But can you what? Can you? How do you know the wind it is there? It shows you that there is wind. It does show you. But with you, how do you know that it's windy outside yeah. when you go outside? Because it blows on you. Yeah. What else? It's cold. It's cold. And about if you look hair? around you, what do you see? It, it, it your blows. hair blows. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sometimes your lips get chapped That's right. from the wind. Very good guesses. So then, also. They had this page, and maybe you could hold sure. that page up. And that's the page, remember where Snowzilla melted? By Snowzilla. And can you, do you see, anybody see a difference between the sketch <coughs> and the final page? Yes. There's more stuff in that big one than that one. Yeah, and what big thing is added in this picture? The um, clothes. The clothes, yeah. And what about and, over on this side? And that doesn't have Colin, that one does. Yes. And what else is over here? Who do you see that, there? That Who's that? Have the person. That's right. right. The little brother. So this is Cammy Lou and the dog, but the brother isn't here because, and it says, show the brother here. So then the artist has to then put the brother in. So the brother is in almost every picture just like Cammy Lou. And so that's mm -hmm. what happens with the artist's work, just mm -hmm. like the author. And then the artist, after she, he or she does all those sketches, they have to draw or paint a picture. And you're the first people to see this. This is actually the real artwork from the last page in my book. Wow. Isn't it beautiful? Now, so boys and girls, what's the difference between a sketch and a painting? If we can, we take out a, a oh, sure. sketch again, a page if you're sketching. I know. Do just anyone. <coughs> What's well, we the difference? Here, why don't we just do this, which is the the actual? What's yeah. the difference between this sketch and the final picture? Oh, I know. There's no brother. Well, that true. But what's the difference? How does this look different from the I final know. picture? Um, Go ahead. Well. Because when you sketch, you really only just draw with pencil lining and... Very good. Right. Well, I know. That's the dog's no dog like like picture. That's right. The dog's true. like further away. Right. Sketches can be changed, right? How, am it, how many of you, um, I think you're all in first grade, right? Yeah. yeah. Or um, almost, almost? Preschool or first grade? And that do you, a dog in Do you do sloppy yeah, copies one, when you write and <coughs> draw? Um, just just like in that one, there's a dog snowman. There. That's and right, they added a dog snowman. So the difference between a sketch and her final is this is like the sloppy copy. It can be changed, it just gives us an idea of what the artist thinks about drawing. When you're writing, when you're doing your writer's workshop in school, do you do a first draft? Yeah, so, yeah, that's what you do. Draft. So that's what Miss Dawn is talking about. A rough draft when you're writing is the same as a sloppy copy. So that's very exciting very that we can good. see those. So once the illustrator does this kind of art, it takes a long time because she has to do an original piece of art for every two pages in the book. Now one of the things that I like to do with this picture William, maybe you could be the first one to help me here. What I want to do is have you pick somebody. If you were going to write a book to be next year's Snowzilla book, because I wrote this one, and then next year there's going to be a whole family, maybe you can pick one of the characters in the picture. Which one do you think you would like to write about if you were going to make up? You could make up any story you want. Which one doggy. would you pick? You would pick up the dog. And would you give your dog a name? That Snowzilla dog? Mm. What do you think you would call him? Dogger. Dogger? And would he like to play in the snow, do you think? Yes, he would, wouldn't he? So do you think... Because he's made out of snow. That's right. <laughs> do you think his dog house would be made out of snow? Yes. Yes. That would be fun. What do sure. snow doggers eat? Snow. Snow bones? <laughs> <laughs> what else? Out of snowballs. Snowballs. Snow out of snowballs. Snow out of snowballs. That's right. What? Um, snow, snow pebbles. Snow, snow pebbles. pebbles. <laughs> you can 
You want you me to just, point to it? Which one? Um, this one? Yeah. Which and one is that? The baby, the baby one. The Snowzilla baby? Uh -huh. and what would you name her, it's Dakota? Snowzilla. Um, it's a snow baby. Snow baby. Snow, snow baby. baby. And if you wanted to tell a story about your snow baby, what might you say about her? No. She eats snow. How about over here? Do you want to pick something? I didn't get her. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, this one. Okay. The orange one? Yeah. And yes. what would you name that? Snowman. Snowball. Snowball. Snowboy or snowball? Snowball. Snowball. I like that. Do you think that snowball, he looks like he might be a teenager, huh? <coughs> you think so? Mm -hmm. What does he like to do? Mm. You think he's a snowball scout? Uh, sure. Like a tiger scout, like you guys. How about one more from this side? Okay. How about Chin? Um, Which one would you write a story about? Okay. The dad? Ooh, I the know dad. Would he have a special Snowzilla name? I know. Mm. Snowflake. 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 That's a terrific name for a snowman. Oh, wait. What do you think? Do you think he's going to have a happy year he next year? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, you can think of a lot of fun things for Snowflake. What did you notice? The girls are in orange or uh huh. Yeah, like <laughs> there's well, a lot of different colors in, right. in this picture. In you all have in blue. In blue. That's true. And the dog is in brown. We don't know if the dog's a boy or a girl. Do we? Very good ideas. Wonderful boys and girls. ideas. If you would like to learn more about Janet Waller and her new book Snowzilla, please visit her website. And we do thank you for coming and sharing. It was book. so much fun. Thank you all. Um, You've been a great. Okay, boys and girls, sometimes we don't have snow in winter. Sometimes there's days when the grass is green, right? Sometimes it's too cold like it is today to go outside and play for a long time. But what kind of winter game could you play inside? Raise your hand if you have a game you could play inside. Angry Bird Season. You could. You could play your video games. What else, Michael? My real Angry Birds game. Your <laughs> real Angry Birds, Dakota. Um, I could play on my Game Ring. You could play on your Leapster. Could we put that away, though? I would really appreciate that so it doesn't get broken. What if you could play Snow Freeze? <laughs> snow Freeze? Now, or what is that dance, dance on? right? Well, is it like tagging? It's like tagging. Freeze tag? It's like a snowball it's fight like we inside. Go. Do you want to know how to have a snowball fight inside? Without, without breaking out. things and without <laughs> melting Paper. snow? And without making mommy and daddy angry? Almost. So we're going to show you very quickly how we can make snowballs inside. These are like snowballs. Do you think that would hurt? No. Does that hurt? No. 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 Yes, it does. Do you think does. that would break anything? No. No. Yes. Is it soft? Yeah, but they're not heavy. heavy. They're not heavy. That's right. Would you like to hold one? Me so we're going to show you. Well, okay, we have to just hold them. I know this is a dangerous trick I just did. So what we need is this fabric called tulle. Or it could just be white. And you would cut that in a 10 inch square. You would need an elastic band, any color and a pair of, what are these called? Scissors. Am I holding them correctly? Yeah. How do you no. hold a pair of scissors? On the bottom. You do when you're cutting, but, but what this. if you're walking with scissors? Do I hold scissors like no, this when I'm walking? No, like this. And why do we hold scissors like this? Because um, they so doesn't have... cut you. That's right. And but it will cut your hand. It would. And so usually mom and dad have to use these, right? No. Okay. So, the other thing you would need is stuffing. You would need stuffing. And I didn't have stuffing like this at home. So I just crumpled up some more of my white material into a ball, right? You put it in the middle of your 10 inch square. 
and you gather up all the sides just like this and don't let go. And then what do you think I do to hold that together? Elastic band. That's right. We take out an elastic band and we put it on the top just like that. And then if you wanted to play the game Freeze Dance, there's actually a song on YouTube that your mom or dad could find for you called Freeze Dance. And it's a fun song about winter and about freezing. And when the music stops or when the music plays, you just start chucking snowballs at each other. And when the music stops, you freeze. And you don't throw a snowball. And if you throw a snowball when there's no music, guess what happens? You're out. You're, You're out. out. So to be the winner of the game, yeah. you either have to be the last one with a snowball or your mom or dad say, enough. <laughs> okay? Does that sound like fun? Yeah. Playing freeze dance? And you have these blocks. I'll ask mom if she has that on her phone. Oh, okay. I bet she, she could she find it. it. And you hide behind the blocks. And you, you do. You use she different things around like the house to hide. Station. Very You can make good. like a snow fort. In the house. And can you grab the snowballs when someone throws them at you? Yes, you could grab them, but you don't throw them when the music stops. So it's sort of like freeze tag, right? Yeah, but or musical chairs. Or musical chairs. Have you played musical chairs? Snowballs. Snowballs, right. I don't, it's we need to be time. careful with the right. furniture. A long, long time ago, I think I played that. I, you think you did? Yeah. Very, very I good. Well, we also have another craft that we will put up at the end um, for snowballs? instructions on how to make a snowman with some glitter and some cotton balls. But today we are out of time. And we want to, boys and girls, we want to turn towards our cameras and we want to say goodbye to our studio audience. Ready? Goodbye, goodbye. boys and girls. Thank you for Thank joining you. us.